folks, I'm here with an old friend, Tom Soboleski. Tom, so good to see you. Good to see you, Paul. It's been, uh, always nice to see you here. Great. Tom uh, is with Barbour, and they, they, of course, as we all know, make an incredible quality and functional product. Uh, Tom, do you have anything new to show us? Well, we have some uh, very, very interesting news on the sporting front. Um, Helen Barber, uh, vice chairman of the company, has taken over the sporting part of the collection. And uh, we really actually have some of the nicest uh, sporting equipment than we've had in the, in the last 15 years. So, uh, yes, uh, some exciting things are happening. Good. Let's take a look. Well, as I, as I mentioned, Paul, uh, the exciting news uh, for this year is, uh, is uh, Helen Barber, uh, vice chairman of the company, uh, getting involved in doing the sporting line. Uh, it's, it's interesting because she's been around the company. Uh, the company is 117 years old. It's actually still owned by the Barber family. And um, Helen becoming more uh, involved in the company is really, really good news for everybody. Uh, but she did a great job on the sporting line. Uh, one of the things that uh, we keep talking about as a company is that we don't want to leave uh, the part of our business where we really got it all started a hundred years ago. Uh, that's who we really dealt with, were the fishermen and the hunters and the, the commercial fishermen and the gamekeepers and that sort of thing. And uh, again, we, we never want to get away from that part of the product. Uh, what she did this year, uh, Lord James Percy is probably one of the best uh, shots in, in the UK right now on birds on Driven Birds, and uh, he has helped us with the design of the products and helped Helen. They work together very, very closely. And, and what we've come up with are some products that, uh, for someone going over to Europe and being involved in any sort of Driven Shoots, uh, it's almost the uniform. And now, not only was the, the, uh, the name Barber associated with it, but now um, the technical part of it is there also. Uh, so I'll, uh, just, just to go over one product, um, we have a coat here that's got uh, just a little bit of insulation in it so that it'll keep you warm on a, a reasonably cold day. Uh, it's built with a Gore-Tex membrane so it's waterproof and windproof. Uh, it's got a removable hood and one of the interesting parts about the coat is that everything is done from a functional purpose. Uh, we, we have in the pockets fleece lined pockets so they'll keep you nice and warm. Just little tiny things that are attention to detail. And uh, little straps here so that the pockets will stay up while you're shooting so that if you're going in for, for shells it will stay up and not get caught. Your hand won't get caught. Uh, you've got all kinds of uh, inside pockets. Um, the, the coat is just, a, is just a gorgeous design, and more importantly, from a, an actual shooting point of view, the coat moves with you, so that even on an overhead bird or a bird that's, uh, uh, that's a wild right to left or whatever, uh, the coat moves with you and it doesn't hinder your swing at all. And what she's done is taken the same idea right through the whole line, even as far as something as simple as a shirt. The tails are a little longer so that they don't come out uh, there are no pockets on it so that the gun, whether you're, you shoot right-handed or left-handed, um, nothing will catch. Pockets, etc., etc. And uh, the shirt gives you just a little bit more room all around your body so that, again, you don't have anything that binds. Uh, even to the point where we've redesigned some of our quilts so that um, uh, on the inside you'll notice how slippery they are so that again even if you're uh, in the UK it's not uncommon um, to be shooting obviously in wet weather or very very cold weather uh, and layering is a big deal there so uh, what we really need to do is uh, they're generally shooting in a shirt and tie and um, uh, when we put the layers on it's important that nothing binds as it goes along so not only do you have that aspect of it but again you have all sorts of pockets for uh, keys, for anything that you might need, uh, earplugs that are integral in the vest, and it's all Alcantara as far as the trim, so that not only won't the gun slip, uh, but it's a wash it becomes a washable piece, 
so that it can be cleaned and uh, kept clean all the way through. It's definitely something that can be used every day. Really, uh, that's kind of the gist of the line. We have some uh, sweaters uh, that are, uh, again, as far as a layering piece, they're very, very thin. A mixture of merino, silk, and cashmere. Um, uh, just everything designed from a functional point of view for the shooter. And um, uh, I think it's anyone who looks at the line this year, I think will be very, very happy with what they see. And Paul, thank you for uh, giving me uh, the opportunity to say a couple of words. Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, the official dog food of Pheasants Forever and Quail Forever, and brought to you in part by Irish Setter by Red Wing Legendary Performance, bred for sport and available at L.L. Bean, Orvis, Ugly Dog Hunting, or your favorite Irish Setter dealer. RST, manufacturer of short chamber low pressure shot shells. Mud River Dog Products, fundamentally changing the expectations of the hunter and dog enthusiast. And On Point Kennel, providing the finest in dog training equipment.